Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the softcore brony. Now with Bony in the party on Let's Play Mother 3. So uh yeah, Bony joined the party and he's an active party member. Yeah. So uh he's also very important because he's one of the fastest characters in the game. You can see he's much faster than Flint there, even with even though he, you know, is being slowed down a little bit by lighter's lumber, but yeah. So that makes him a very ideal item user, which is why I want to actually give him uh, several uh, items. Now, one thing that I told myself I wasn't going to forget, so uh, yeah, practically everything. I'm never going to use these with uh, Flint anyway. So uh, yeah, I guess apparently he can... Like, there is, like, a really low chance that he'll actually eat uh, food instead of, like, using it on another party member, but I've never actually seen it happen. Now, anyway, Boney's, I guess, is one of his better qualities, really, is his equipment, which he needs badly. But, yeah, it's his equipment that his collars, is that, of course, only he can equip, that creates his defense and offense, uh, which he really needs because his... Uh, well, his HP, offense, and defense are kind of below average to low, and, well, I don't really care about his IQ, but, so, oh, that's not him, that's him, <laughs> whoops, so, yeah, you can see he's quite a bit, uh, weaker physically than, uh, Flint there, he doesn't get any other equipment besides his body armor and also hats which I want to give my ordinary hat to Boney because he really, really needs it. Well, technically he does get one other piece of equipment, but that's not until the end of the game, so... <laughs> yeah, he never gets any other equipment, and... Well, I don't have any for Flint yet, but he can equip other types of body equipment, but they're never better than his collars, so... Oh, right, and the other thing about... Boney, he has his one and only skill, Sniff there. It's basically the same as Jeff's spy ability from the last game, or Apple Bloom if you played Equestria Bound. Uh, it'll just, uh... These are the sheep that I forgot to look at. That's about all that's about significant about them. But yeah, um... It'll just show you what weaknesses an enemy has, and uh, what they're... What status effects they're susceptible to. Oh, right. Yeah, what status effects they're susceptible to. And I forgot last time that you can actually sleep in this bed here if, if you need to, which I don't. Uh, it'll also tell you, like, what creature type the enemy is. Not that that's really that important. Although I guess technically... Oh, yeah, we can go these, this way now. Yeah, I guess technically... Uh, certain enemy types are specifically weak to certain elements most of the time, but, uh, you don't really need to know that when you're already getting told the weakness anyway. And anyway, we get some nut bread that I, I guess I'll keep on Flint for now. Oh, and even though there's actually a search party going on, there we have this excuse that it's, you know, really laid out and we shouldn't bother people, even though they're actually, most of them are out searching for Hinawa and the kids. Clackety, clackety. Yeah, this is Reggie's house, and we'll actually see Reggie uh, a little later today. Oh. Sheriff not wanted. After all, there's no crime! Wow! What do you have a jail for, then? Because that's what this... This is mostly a jail, so yeah. And even though there is no sheriff, we don't want to bother the non-existent sheriff anyway. See, over here, rather oddly, is the beach. <laughs> which uh, is the only other item that we can find around here. We can't go into any of these homes either, so. See, so got an edible mushroom that I guess I might as well leave with Flint for now. Uh, I'll dash back to uh, the town real quick. Alrighty, we got, uh, where is he? There he is. few people running around here, including Thomas. This is bad, real bad. Yep. Yeah, we we kind of got the. Oop, oop, wrong buttons. I'll talk to the other people up there in just a moment. See, otherwise we want to. Oh, sparrow advice. Not that this one's actually that useful, but. Yeah, what each item does. So if this ever happens, you can just press select and it'll tell you what it does. So, yay. 
It's better like chirp chirp. Let's see over here. We got a stray dog. Hi. Not that he's important. Uh, well, we can go down here right now. Not that there's anything actually down here. It's there's usually farm animals around, but uh, it's raining, so they're not out right now. Uh, let's see. Oh no 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 no! I want to go around this way, I believe. Get this item. A peculiar cheese, which could have been dropped by that uh, flying mouse earlier. Uh, it will heal you 60 HP if you happen to like cheese. Actually, most of the characters like cheese. Uh, Boney doesn't. I guess I'll give it to him, to hold on to at least. I did equip that hat, didn't I? Yeah, I did equip the ordinary hat. I'm going to give Flint another hat later on anyway. And otherwise, back here behind this house, a rather important item, the Thunder Bomb, which I also want to give to Boney. It's a uh, one of many uh, attack weapons, which are actually are good in this game. Uh, this does uh, lightning elemental damage, roughly about 90 points of damage, uh, or more if they have a weakness to it. And, uh, yeah, made by Wes. This is Wes's house. I think this is the only place in the game you can get Thunder Bombs. Yeah, it does damage to all enemies. It's really good for, well, the early game anyway, not so much later on. Now, uh, well, one thing you're not supposed to know about yet, but if you go up here to the crossroads, and I'll talk to them in, in a moment, and come back. Yeah, that's that, that area up there is called the crossroads. Then... The Thunder Bomb will come back. Because, yeah, Wes, uh, well, makes more, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to take those two for now. You might want to get more than that, possibly, but I'm good with that for now. So that will, that will actually remain like that for the rest of the game, too. You can always come back there to get Thunder Bomb, so long as you go come up to the, or walk into the crossroads first. Oh, uh, yeah, she, I guess, you know, I think I mis kind of misinterpreted last time. I guess they said that they were, or that they were, were going to leave this morning, and then here in the evening that whole fire thing happened, and the thing with the pig masks. Uh, I don't know, probably with their mother, I would guess. Frog, if you need it. Oh, yeah. Honest, huh? And then he runs that way, and I don't know where he goes. I've searched for him, but I don't know where he went. I think, yeah, Letter's still over here, although he doesn't say anything still. Uh, nothing out here except for nuts if you want them for later. I don't think there's anybody around here. Anyway, we want to go back towards the forest. Same sparrow advice as before. I thought everybody... Oh, there they are. Ah, uh, Jonelle. And the other guy's Wes, by the way. Ah, okay. Thanks, man. Yep. Friendship is magic. Hey, Wes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, more on that later. Say, Frog, if you need it. see. Hey, Paul. Yes, it is. Well, too bad. Gonna have to deal with it for now. I, you were one of the gossiping girl ladies earlier, right? Oh, pasta! That is important. And this guy's always here, again. Although, I guess I could sniff him or something just to show you now that I think about it, so... Yep, yeah, smells like an animal. I wonder why. And it smells weak to fire. Not that we can do anything with that for quite a while, actually. Or that, for that matter. There we go. Yeah, I kind of get, kind of got to get the beat down for a moment. That's why I had to do that. And I guess I might as well. Nah, forget it. I'm not gonna heal up. 
I'm never actually going to need Sniff because I already know what most of the enemies are weak to. Now that we the uh, fire is over, there's new enemies around, including that guy, the Baked Yammer Monster. Uh, if you, he's going to pop up out of the ground, and if you want to, and well, even though he'll remain stationary, he'll follow your movements and always face towards you. So if you want to catch him from behind, you're going to have to run while he's still underground. Aha! The baked Yama Monster. He's got quite a bit more HP than the other Yama Monsters, but he's also has a relatively easy song to uh, combo with. I want to wait till after the next little p that part of the song right there. All right. All yeah, right, sixteen. That's the max. Oh, and then I just boot him. So yay! They're not too dangerous otherwise. They're worth lots of experience points. Oh yeah, I'm at level ten. Sweet. Oh, big offense boost there, too. Oh, wow, that's a lot of speed for Flint. If you want to buy a little bit. All right, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, and they're very likely to drop baked yams. And any baked yams you get, you definitely want to give to Boney for later. And try not to use them either, even though they can heal you for 40 HP. Uh, let's see. Ah. Huh. Not me! I didn't. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. If you need antidotes, you can go into that house down there. In fact, I should probably go do that real quick, huh? Whoops. Alrighty. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> In this house, this is Isaac's house. Oh, yeah? Anyway, if you need to... Uh, there's lots or infinite antidotes in this box, actually, so we can take as many as we want, but I'm not going to need them because, uh, well, we're actually going to get another one anyway, and the enemy that we will want to occasionally use them on is going to drop them anyway, and I'm actually going to heal up real quick, and I'll meet you back up there where I fought the Yama monster. Baked Yama monster, that is. Well, I might as well fight him from, a from the front, I guess, since I accidentally triggered him without uh, getting behind him, so... He might actually, yeah, do something this time. He can actually uh, lower your defense as well, one character's defense, by tickling you. I think or that was him, right? Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, wow, I still screwed that up. They're not that tough, though, so... And still with lots of experience points. Now, the other enemy that has appeared around here is the Mighty Bitey Snake, which will not actively try to attack you. It'll just run around kind of semi-randomly there. And uh, so if you can, you can try to get behind it. If I'm fortunate, which I'm not. Now this guy, I just... I cannot seem to combo against for anything. I think you're supposed to go in between the beats there. Ah! But they're not that tough anyway, but still. They can poison you, that's what you want the antidotes for. And they also might drop uh, antidotes. Before the end of the chapter, you will probably want to get Boney up to at least level 11 or 12, which uh, will do you very good in the future. Oh, hey. Of course, let's have faith. Ah. Oh yeah, it did. Now there's more Mighty Bitey Snakes up this way and Big Yama Monsters that you can, I guess, level grind on for a while if you want. And, well, there's nothing at Lighter's house right now anyway. So we're just going to keep on going this way where we can fight more of these guys. And this is Reggie. Thanks for stopping me from getting to the Big Yama Monster before it uh, popped out of the ground. He's kind of an interesting character. Because, well, he's, well, a stereotype, like, kind of badly, <laughs> I guess. But, yeah, he's kind of like a stereotype of both uh, African and uh, Native American. It's kind of interesting. Anyway. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Snake. Oh, he went by me. Anyway, there's going to be another Mighty Buddy Snake down here. And you, and, oh, dang it. I screwed up again. Oh, well. I was wrong. He lowers your offense. 
by making a scary face. <laughs> Not by uh, tickling you. That's a different enemy later on. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, it does, huh? Yeah. Yes, that's why we're going to find her. Anyway, we got another antidote here. So, yeah, that's why I'm not worried about them. And if you find any mighty buddy snakes over here, they'll probably respawn. That is one thing about them. I still can't do it. Oh, yeah, they might coil around you, too, and uh, prevent you from moving. So, there is that. Oh, awesome. Let's see. Yeah, unlike uh, Equestria Bound, I'm probably not going to show you every single level up I get. <laughs> oh, you have them all? I thought I gave at least one to you. Oh, I did. I just, I have more than I need. Yeah, let's have two each. That'll work, even though I haven't needed them yet. If you do get poisoned, then, uh... Oh, yeah? Oh, come on, he wouldn't do that, I don't think. Oh, yeah. But yeah, if you do get poisoned, uh, wait until after the battle to, oh, to uh, recover. Oh, dang it. Let's see. Oh. Jerk freaking critical hit me! I think I should actually heal now that I use one of my unclean nut cookies. Uh, yeah, you actually kind of need it too. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to use that. Uh, no, we're good for now. Let's see. Ha ha! Oh, really? Well, got them all the same. I guess I could do it off screen, but some of these monsters around here do respawn after you've, uh, like, walk away from them for after a while. Oh, yeah, beef jerky! 60 HP! Definitely give that to Boney. I'll be actually be giving most of my healing items to Boney. So, uh, let's see. Oh. Got a mini mini charm. Which, uh, Boney... Well, he can equip it, but it's not... It's only two defense, so it's way worse than his collar there, so... Because it's for the body there. Ah, too bad. I guess not. Hey, Mike! Who's not from Canmore, and I don't think anybody's gotten that joke yet. Not even the Canadian in the audience. Because it's from a Canadian show, but anyway. Aw. Wow, I actually got the timing for that. I'm so I'm shocked. I think I actually did it kind of by accident, but <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, you guys are out here. Even Jackie's helping out finally. Huh? What do you mean? What's going on? What? What's going on? What the? Oh. Yeah, I guess they were. Wow. Check that out, man. Ah. Oh. Whoever did this, it wasn't human. Oh, really? <laughs> what are you saying about yourself, Bato? I don't think we've seen you yet, have we? Well, anyway. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they're probably out there behind the trees there, but, you know, yeah, because of the trees, they can't get by. Or they tried to find some other way around, maybe. Just like we're going to have to do. Uh, weren't we already split up into groups? Well, anyway. Huh? Oh, you came! Oh, and lighter, too? Oh, I should have, uh... I should have looked in on him. He, uh, they weren't telling him because they said he was going to go run off and, well, do this. Because, <laughs> you know, he was still injured. Yeah, he's always in good shape. See? He's got wood.
And they're just going to go try to move that out of the way for us, so. All right, sure, even though I can't really push on ahead with that with you guys there. I mean, you know, with these trees here. Ah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. Isaac really doesn't do much. <laughs> and then there's these two. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. What? Ah. If you, well, either understand or are a fan of, uh, I think, very classic <laughs> Japanese comedy, then you might get that joke. Or this one. No problem here. Ah. Uh. What the heck? Well, anyway. Yeah, I don't really find the jokes to be that amusing. I think it's supposed to be like a... Well, you know what? Never mind. I'm not even going to try to explain it. Either that or they're intentionally supposed to be really bad at making the jokes is what I'm assuming is what's actually going on there. <laughs> but... Oh, yeah. And save frog if you need it, which I think I might as well since I actually haven't saved for kind of a while, or at least this way anyway. The Great Cliff, eh? Alright. What level are we at right now, by the way? Hmm. Oh, he's almost going to get another level up anyway. Alright. Yeah, I would like him to get to at least level 11 before I'm done with this. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Thump, thump. Huh, this looks strange. What the heck? What's that? A Drago, huh? Or a Drago, whatever. They climbed up from here? Wow. What, did it like bite its way up there? Man. Their claw marks? It didn't look like they were that big of feet. <laughs> Dang. No kidding, man. They're such peaceful creatures. Well, maybe. Hmm. Well. Maybe. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything else we can do here. So, hey, Pony? What do you... What's up, Pony? Literally. He did? What'd you find, boy? Huh? What? Red? Red cloth? Huh? What's that doing there? Find out next time on Let's Play Mother 3. Arrivederci.